It's umsum time. What if trains disappeared? Uh -huh. No problem. Umsum always flies first class. <laughs> oh, umsum. To buy this mug, visit umsum.com. Firstly, if trains disappeared, sale of cars would skyrocket. Hmm. Secondly, if trains disappeared, city roads might get heavily congested again. Hmm. Thirdly, if trains disappeared, cost of traveling might increase as taxis are generally more expensive. Hmm. Fourthly, modern trains are being built using billions of dollars. If trains disappeared, huh? government's treasury may get empty soon. Hmm. Lastly, modern trains are being run on clean energy. If trains disappeared, pollution levels might go up. Hmm. What if there were no airplanes? Then I will launch my Umsum Space Company. <laughs> wow, Umsum. Firstly, the Wright brothers who invented the airplane would huh? not be famous anymore. Secondly, with no airplanes, trains and ships would be extremely popular for long distance travel. Thirdly, oh. with no airplanes, travel time will increase by a lot. Mm. People will rarely travel across countries. Tourism industry will not be lucrative anymore. Fourthly, with no airplanes, worldwide defense industry will look very different. Tanks might make a comeback. Ah. Fifthly, with no airplanes, humans will look to the sky, watch the birds, and wish that one day even they could fly with them. Also, with no airplanes, people might start watching their favorite places on TV instead of traveling far off distances to visit them. On the flip side, with no airplanes, pollution levels will go down worldwide. <laughs> Why are airplane windows oval? Because I told the airplane manufacturers to do so. <laughs> oh, stop bluffing. When airplanes fly at higher altitudes, the air pressure inside oh. the airplane is more than the air pressure outside. Hence, the cabin slightly expands, thus creating stress which flows through the cabin's material. Now, when the windows were square or rectangular, the stress caused tension to build up at the corners oh. of square windows. This tension produced cracks in the cabin, thus leading to crashes. Oh, so sad. Hence, this design flaw was corrected by making windows oval. <laughs> oval windows provide a smoother path for stress to flow due to which tension is not produced, and hence, airplanes are safe. Hmm. What if boats and ships disappeared? Huh? No problem. Umsum can walk on water. Oh, Umsum. <coughs> Firstly, transport by water is cheaper than transport by air. If boats and ships disappeared, price of transported goods will increase sharply. Secondly, cruise ships are used by millions of people worldwide for ah. vacationing. If boats and ships disappeared, huh? cruise ship industry will shut down overnight. Thirdly, fishing boats are critical to fishing. If boats and ships huh? disappeared, there will be severe scarcity of oh. fishes worldwide. Fourthly, super expensive yachts are commonly used by the super rich for vacationing. If boats and huh? ships disappeared, even the super rich might feel an economic pinch. Fifthly, boat racing is gaining in popularity worldwide. If boats and ships huh? disappeared, these guys will have to try their hand at a different sport. Lastly, if boats and ships disappeared, people who suffer from seasickness might heave a sigh of relief. Topic: Friction. <laughs> Why is it difficult to pull a boat on the beach than on the sea? Hey, you will find it difficult to pull the boat on the beach. Pull it on the sea. There it will be quite easy. Indeed, why not? Fine, don't listen. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> At least now try to pull the boat on the huh? sea. It is quite easy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yippee! Do you know why? Mm. This is because of friction. Friction is the force which opposes the motion of an object. It always acts in the direction opposite to the direction of motion. 
The amount of friction depends upon the texture of an object and the surface on which it is being moved. <laughs> Rough textures or surfaces offer greater friction as compared to smooth textures or surfaces. Arg! Do you want to say that my brand new boat has a rough texture? No. Even though the texture of the boat is almost smooth, the small particles of sand present on beach form a rough surface. Hmm. Hence, when we pull the boat on beach, the sand particles <laughs> offer greater friction and oppose the motion of the boat, thus making it difficult to move the boat on the beach. Hmm. However, the sea being a liquid <laughs> forms a smooth surface. <laughs> Hence, when we pull the boat on sea, it offers less friction, thus making it comparatively less difficult to pull the boat on sea. Why do bubbles pop? Cause they like to make pop music! Nah. Huh? A bubble is basically a pocket of air surrounded by a thin, tenuous layer of soapy water. This thin layer can be of just water too, but such bubbles don't float. Now, bubbles form because of a special property of water molecules to attract and stick to each other. These attractive forces between water molecules produce what's called surface tension. This surface tension, along with the air pressure from inside and outside the bubble, create a fragile equilibrium and keep the bubble from popping. However, since the equilibrium is fragile, just a gust of wind or our dry finger easily breaks the surface tension, thus breaking the tenuous layer and causing the bubble to pop. Besides this, dry air also causes the water to evaporate from the tenuous layer. Hence, it gradually gets thinner and thinner and eventually, the bubble pops. Why do we cry? Because there isn't enough chocolate in the world. Not at all. When we experience any strong emotions, such as extreme ah. happiness or <laughs> sorrow, it activates our brain's limbic system, which helps control emotions. This system informs our lacrimal glands present below our eyebrows to produce tears, thus making us cry. <laughs> now, crying is more than just a physical response. Huh? It is observed that emotional tears contain natural painkillers like endorphins that help stabilize ah. our mood. Some studies even show that tears produced during emotions contain stress hormones like ACTH and encephalin. So crying might be our body's way of getting rid of such stress hormones, helping us feel better. Besides this, researchers also think that crying serves a social purpose. It may be a nonverbal way of showing submission to the attacker or a way of gaining sympathy, thus increasing the chances of survival. Snake versus mongoose. Who wins? I, me, and myself. All right. A snake, especially a cobra, is a tasty meal for the mongoose. So it fights to kill, while the cobra fights to defend itself. When the cobra strikes, the mongoose's lightning speed helps it dodge the strikes, causing the cobra to miss repeatedly. But what if the cobra succeeds in striking? Toxins in the snake's venom attach to the acetylcholine receptors, blocking communication between nerves and muscles, ultimately causing death. However, in mongoose, these receptors are mutated or shaped differently. The toxin cannot attach to the receptors, making venom ineffective. Eventually, when the cobra gets exhausted, the mongoose snaps with its sharp teeth, killing the cobra and winning the battle. Mostly, between the cobra and mongoose, mongoose wins. However, if the snake is a viper or boa constrictor, then the mongoose can be killed. Why can't babies walk at birth? Huh? Cause walking is boring. No, dude. Oh. Newborn elephants or horses walk shortly after birth, while human <laughs> babies need almost one year. This is because the human brain is not developed enough at birth, while the brains of elephants and horses are. Once the brain develops over a year, human babies start walking. But why isn't our brain developed enough at birth? Uh -huh. Because, in that case, 
the brain would be bigger in size, requiring a larger skull, thus making childbirth very difficult. Also, animals like horses and elephants walk only on their toes. However, humans use both heels and toes to walk. This means they use the full length of their feet, making walking a more complex skill. <laughs> Thus, this requires more coordination and brain power, resulting in more time for us to walk. 